Yes, Rawls Radio, you know what it is, www.rawlsradio.ca, www.cfreradio.com, 905-828-3447. And of course, we've got two talented battle MCs in the building. Yes, First yes. one, hailing from the western of Toronto, Toronto rapper got his start with the Rap Battle League, URL's The Jungle Division. The division was based out of New York. Upon moving to Toronto, he ended up joining King of the Dot, working his way up to the Ground Zero Division. He's built a steady fan base of his battles, and he's now starting to record music. One of his fans is Mega Toronto artist Drake. He is also affiliated with the ROS RMG crew, and now he's set to dominate music the same way he's been battling. We have with us the self-proclaimed prettiest battle rapper <laughs> in the circuit. <laughs> That's what they call me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rolls Radio, my man. No. Yeah, uh, no, crack S one. Yeah, <laughs> so that pretty battle rapper shit killed me. <laughs> oh wow. I heard that's what they call them. Uh, no, it, it is, but um it was more of like a joke at first uh, and then now people are actually call me that, which is which is crazy. <laughs> and of course next to of course we got one of the fastest rising King of Dot stars and he's overcome a lot. Growing up in Rexdale life was never easy. That of course did not stop this young ambitious man from pursuing his dreams. He started out in King of the Dot with a few losses, but of course that never set him back. Classic lines such as, we gon' see, yeah, that's so and his that's battles, cool. you know what I'm saying? And he's been on a roll winning his last few battles in convincing fashion. Of course, also, he is part of the ROS RMG crew, ready to mm -hmm. take music world by storm. He's yeah. also working on his debut music project. Of course, we've got Tycoon Tax. What's up, building. what's up? West End all day, ROS RMG. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Shout out to Royalty Radio. Definitely. We're definitely in the building. They made gang, all that good stuff. All yeah. that good stuff. Now, of course, getting into it, man. The names, man. Oh, you man. for you, you know, yeah, every time you get into which one? Like, we'll start. We'll start with Tycoon Tax. Let's yeah. start with Tycoon Tax. All right, right man. man. Well, basically, we start with the Tycoon. That's straight from my mother. She's been calling me that since birth. She always wanted me to be a tycoon in life. And oh, okay. She, yeah, so she'd be like, Tycoon, you're my tycoon. And I just thought it was kind of cool. But where my first real nickname I got was when I was in like around grade seven, eight. Right. Um, tax was a term to steal things back in those times. Right. You know what I mean? So I. I became quite popular for doing <laughs> So then just the nickname Tax came about. And okay. then when I got into the rap stuff, I took that. My mom always called me Tycoon, so I just put the Tycoon Tax together. And then you got it. Tycoon oh, Tax. Definitely, definitely. Mr. Crack. Man. Talk to us, man. Luciano was, um, it was pretty much Luciano and Crack were actually two nicknames I had okay. when I was in high school. Okay. And, um, I was just basically from like two different groups of friends, right? Right. Like where I would rap front with her, like oh, because I used to actually go by a different rap name, but I mean, she was it was like a, a crack, like you spit that crack. Right. Um. So yeah, everybody used to call me crack, and then another group of friends used to always um, like my close friends used to um, make fun of me. I actually looked really Italian, so I had spiked hair and shit. Right. In high school, and uh, it was corny as fuck, but um, <laughs> yeah. So everybody used to. I'm Spanish, right? Everyone used to like from um. Like my boys used to joke around with me, call me Luciano, like I'm Italian and shit, and give me all these, all these other Italian names. But I kept Luciano, and I kept crack, and um, I think just the combo of it was um, it's really easy to Google. Like you search Luciano crack, you get Luciano crack, right. even if you type it properly. Right. Google is like, did you mean Luciano crack? Yeah. Okay, like the one that right. you're actually looking for. Right. Not for me. You crazy. search up Tycoon, you just get a bunch of tax shit, <laughs> <laughs> it's like government stuff. You know, so my name is his name is actually much better for him actually Google wise. Definitely, definitely. Now, what was it that started? You know, what was it that influenced you guys to, to get into the rap game? Oh, I, I know what mine. I know what yours is gonna be. All right. Which one's mine? Um, you no, know, you tell 50 me. Cent. Yeah, oh, nah, 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 nah. It's fifty cent. Shout out to fifty cent, but nah, that wasn't the reason. Um, I just used to battle in high school and stuff, just because people. I guess the movie Eight Mile had a lot to do with it, you know, so right. people really wanted to see battles and stuff yeah. during the lunchtime, and uh, I just got into a few freestyle battles over here and there, but when I saw King of the Dot come about on World Star, right. I saw it and I was like, okay, this is local talent and stuff, so then I really started getting into battles. Before that, I was really making music and stuff, so okay. basically King, seeing King of the Dot come up on World Star and stuff like that really got me into it. Okay, okay. Now, you said 50 Cent was one of your major influences. Did you have any other influences aside from him? <laughs> nah, probably just 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. I have to top my head. Right now, man. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. What about you? Your um, piano. For rapping, um, I think the first rappers I got into... Hmm. Wasn't it a Tribe Called Quest? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, man. No, no, no. That's just cool. It's just he's he's just like he's making fun of me right now. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. I mean, I, I've been into rap forever, but um, 
I really got into when I watched it, I was listening to Dipset. Okay. Like Cameron, Joel, Jerry Ryder, right. Jim Jones sometimes. Like, yeah. <laughs> that shit for me, it was crazy. Jim Jones is one of the nicest now. Um, that shit was crazy for me. I just loved Dipset, yo, and I was like, I need to rap like that. When I first started rapping, I rapped exactly like Jerry Ryder. What was and it about that style? It was, I don't know, it was just, I think it was just so, they were just so flashy and they're like, you know, and they were just setting trends. Everything Dipset did became a trend. The pink, the purple, the, like, dude, the clothes they put out, the shit right. they rock, like, everything was a trend. I just want to be like a trendsetter, like Dipset, right? Right. And now I've got my own style, but yeah, it started off with some Dipset shit. I okay. love Dipset. All right, all right. Now, how old you, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Watch yeah. 50 all over everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now, what was it, I mean, that made you guys get, of course, you mentioned, you know, used to battle rap in, you know, in school and stuff like that, but Luciano, for you, in terms of battle rapping, what made you get involved initially? Uh, battling initially, I used to, um, I used to write battle verses and say them in ciphers. Okay. Like, just like a bunch of kids be freestyling at school, I'm like, oh yeah? And, but they'd be rapping about like, themselves, like dumb shit, I'd just be like saying generic punchlines, but like, I fucked your girl, etc. <laughs> I shot your man, etc. And just people used to love that. I used, to get, I used to get crazy reaction for that. Right. Like, I used to love that shit, battling. So, um, yeah, eventually I started watching it. I was never serious about battling or anything. Right. And I started watching it on YouTube. Like, I saw King of the Dot get big. And I think one of the first ones I saw was Pat Stay. Mm-hmm. And then I seen Grand Time get big with Conceited. Right. And then I rapped, I ended up some, oh, that's a long story, but end of the story, I ended up getting on the phone with Conceited one day. Okay. And my dude told me to rap to Conceited. And I rapped to Conceited and he put me in S1S. Which for me was crazy to be like, you know what I mean? That was like my favorite battle rapper, right? Like, I used to watch my YouTube. It was like, I was like starstruck and he won me in his group, right? right? So that's when I really took battle rap seriously. I was like, I, I really gotta do this for real. Okay, okay. Now, when you decided to, you know, venture across the border, get into the battle mm-hmm. leagues over there, I mean, what was it like trying to get involved in that? It was, I, I actually think it's um, a lot more accepting than the Toronto or the Canadian scene. Okay. The American scene, I think. Um, I don't know why. They're more, um, they rarely listen, like you battle on the States, they, they rarely listen to lyrics. Like hip hop has been around the States for so much longer, right? Like these guys rarely listen to rap and rarely listen to hip hop. I don't know. I think, I think the States are more accepting, especially because I might start to battle them through Conceited. Right. And their league was ran out of Cali, so okay. I wanted to go to the States. What was it about that flair when you went down there? What were some of the things that you learned, you know, coming, bringing that back up here? Oh, I learned a lot about just like punchlines and how to be creative with them and how to really find like double meanings, exploit them in different ways. Whereas a lot of punchlines aren't a big thing in Canadian battle rap. It's more jokes, right? Okay. Like not to say that Pat Stay or Lo Pesci or Bender doesn't have, they don't have punchlines. Right. It's not to the same degree as in the States when you have, they've had like Sirius Jones saying crazy punchlines for Murder Mook saying crazy punchlines for Like they really, they really just live brought up on hard punchlines. Okay, okay. Now, Taiko, what would be your style you know, for people, you know, who haven't paid attention to you or, you know, those who are still getting to know you? You know, when you get into the battle scene, what, what would be your style? Man, that's the funny part. Um, when, I, when I first stepped into battle rap, I took a string of losses, right? So, right. that was one style. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it didn't really work for me, so I don't even know how to describe that. That was just like me getting into battle rap and really learning how to write for people before I could have, you know what I mean? Like, right. I, I, I was using a lot of general topics, but after experiencing all that stuff and really sitting back and analyzing, I decided to change my style now to a more like personal, in-depth, like just fun all around concepts and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I feel like my style is more like, I don't know, like really hard hitting, just pretty aggressive. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not punch, like I, I punch, but not. I don't. I don't really think that that's the, the base of my style. Just like straight punch lines. I feel mm-hmm. like I have aggression and and like I could intimidate a lot of these people on stage. Okay. So I, that's a, that's a major plus. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. <laughs> now for you, uh, Luciano. I mean, how would you see your style? How have you seen your style evolve? You know, from when you first started. Yeah. Um. Well, I think um. I've just gotten, um, when I first started, I was really nervous and awkward. Mm-hmm. Now battling to me, like, I don't even get nervous on the day of the battle. I just show up. I'm at the point, I'm just like, I show up and I go, you know what I mean? Like, I know I'm going to do well. Right. I'm going to do well. And if I don't, it happens. Right. But that's not going to happen. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, yeah, eventually you get used to it. And when I first started out, I was so nervous. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep the night before battle and just be up, like, 
fuck so on YouTube, like anything I do is um internet forever. Correct. Okay. Yeah, but I mean my confidence has gone up crazy. Alright, definitely for sure. Now, I mean, you know, for battle rap you're not you know, people do know, people don't know. Like what are some of the things that you have to be aware of when you're going into battle rap? I mean, you're gonna go and face an opponent. Man. What are some of the things you need to know? That's you crazy. To, that's crazy. Um, anything, anything you've ever put up on the internet. Well, that's the thing. Um, depends what kind of league you're battling in. As, I think as far as King of the Dot goes, it's your background, everything you've ever done in life is gonna come out in battle rap. So you really gotta be careful with what you're doing if you really wanna be big in this. You know what I mean? Like, dudes right. is getting exposed out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's not a joke anymore. They cry on Facebook messages, Twitter messages. You gotta watch your back in this shit. So. If you really want to get into this shit, just I guess be authentic. Right. Make sure like you're ready to do all this stuff, and cause it gets crazy. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you guys take that? I mean, especially when they bring out stuff that maybe you forgot, <laughs> you weren't even aware of, and all of a sudden battle time comes and someone just hits you with something you weren't expecting. I mean, how do you take that? I don't think. I don't, I don't think that's that's really happened to us. Nah, but I can imagine like. I don't think that ever happened to like somebody like me or Craig, but like for some dudes like that I watch like out there like it's crazy. <laughs> I have a question though. Oh god. Okay. So what is something that you would not touch in terms of topics? What is something I would not touch? Like what's something that is like yeah, we That's won't crazy. go there. Mm. You were to find something that like Oh out. for me to touch somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody is, is there anything that is like Oh when I write personally? Is it, yeah. Oh, mm. When is there like a rapper's me? etiquette <laughs> that like, you won't I mean, touch something? Not really, like, but that's the thing. I don't really, I'm not the type of dude to, to really sit back and study somebody so hard for a battle. Like, I want to, like, I really need that information to win a battle. I feel like I can, things that I wouldn't touch probably, the death of a family member. Okay. Right. The death of a family member, probably not. Um. I got to diss the block. I always diss the blocks. <laughs> so I don't really think. Have you heard anybody else in a battle that you were thinking, yeah, you shouldn't have touched that? Oh, yeah, right, right. Really? Some dudes smell so wild as shit. Okay, yeah. without saying what it was, can you say, like, the topic matter of what they touched? Oh, I'll say uh, 100 Bulls talked about Arcane's, like, dead sister and oh, all, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, no, that's, see, that was, that was too crazy. but it didn't work. That's the yeah. if it, And he still actually, lost. Yeah, he lost yeah. with yeah. that. See, that's why he was counting a whole entire round on that to win. Just, I'm going to talk about every single family dead member and just, like, and it did not work. So that's perfect example. Yeah, that's just too crazy. Like, yeah. does it, doesn't it ever get to you, though, after a while? Like, because people are just going at you. Like, they want to see you. Cry, they want to see you messed up. Like, nah. does it ever get to you? Nah, never. Not to me personally. Like, I've tried. Oh, this shit offend me? Yeah. Yeah, be real. Um, you never want to. No, there was things that people could say to offend me. They okay. just don't know them, I guess. Let's so. get specific with the channel crack. What are they going to say? <laughs> What's it going to take you to mad pop for somebody on King of the Dot? Let's just get right to it. Okay, that's what I'm trying to ask you right now. Nah, if anyone like. Thank you. If for anyone that. like actually talk about my family. Right. Yeah, like upset. they said, like your I'm mother's name in the battle. Yeah, that's, that's definitely cause for yeah. red in the face. Yeah, I did the fist motion. In the head. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If what? anybody says my mother's name in the battle, it's probably yeah, gonna get kind of crazy. They don't have to say no. anything with it though, just the mother's name. Yeah, they can start off the battle by going, "Your mother's name." <laughs> off. Fair. <laughs> fist yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, would you ever? Would, you ever, would it ever provoke you enough to fight somebody at that point in time? He said the fist. Yeah. Yeah. The fist goes up, but yeah. you know it's not really. You know that's what I was thinking. You can't really. I'll do like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight I someone know. in the battle if I think they're not battling anymore. Because there's a there's a different way we act with each other off camera, off camera, right? Right. Or all man cool with each other. Like it's very rare that anyone dislikes each other. Well, speaking of man cool, I mean, you know, when you battled, um, what's his name? Caliente? Caliente, oh, no, 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 sorry. No, or another. They forgot your name, man. They that forgot guy. your name. They don't even remember <laughs> you, man. That's how you no, know it was bad. Go there with that. Oh, wow. Caliente. That's how you know it was bad, yeah. man. Oh. What happened? <laughs> what happened? With Caliente, what happened? Um, I mean, he was trying to give you daps at the end. He said, <laughs> "A lot of people don't know the background story." Okay, so yeah, basically, I just want to put this all out there for everybody here. Okay. Everybody's giving me hate on the comments for that, which I don't even care about. But it's something that people need to know. What? Okay, so before the battle, actually. Caliente was messaging certain friends of mine saying how, oh, don't fuck with Tax. He's not real. He's not really from here. I can get dude jumped and this, that, the other. Like, things that don't even concern. Like, right. they don't even have any concerns with battle rap whatsoever. Right. I got to win the vid. You know what I mean? So when the event came, he came up to me on some shit like, you better be ready today. 
And I was so pissed about what he said that I'm like, yo, dog, don't even talk to me. Like, bro, you're looking, I'm gonna punch you in your face right now. Just get right. the fuck away from me. And then there was a situation where he just walked away from me all mad. I go upstairs to the VIP section, Uno Lavo, Shadi Har was there. Right. And they're like, yo, tax, take a picture. And Cali's in there. I'm like, nah, I don't wanna take a picture of pussies. Right? <laughs> okay. And they knew I was talking about Cali. So right. then Cali was on some shit, like, ah, oh, I see how he acts. He's so emotional. And I got in his face. I'm like, yo, dog, if you keep talking, I'm going to really slap you right now. And then Uno had to hold me back and shit to kick right. me out of the VIP. And from there, I was heated. Because okay. dude was at, like, he was acting crazy. Yes. So you feel that like he totally disrespected you. It wasn't worth yeah. it. Yeah. Like, after saying all that shit, like, I'm going to get him jumped and this, right. that. And you want to come to me? Like, really? Like, you, like, you never said nothing? Yeah. So as far as the battle went, he was just like trying to help me up on it. And I'm like, yo, it's. Uh, Nah, okay. man, you know what you did, man. Don't okay. help me up, pussy. I think those were the exact words I said. <laughs> Actually. Don't help me up, pussy. And it's still like that, you know what I mean? I don't like dude. When I see dude, if he says anything wrong, I'm just gonna clock him in his face. Be any forgiveness. Yeah, nah. I'm never. Yeah. All right, all right. right. Just promote yourself real quick. We're gonna let Andre get into it, but just promote yourselves before you guys go. All right, Gucci on crack, all West RMG, West of Toronto, shuts up, Seto Pax, Looney Blue. That's when that shuts up and see Heartless Fox. Mm, yeah. Anybody Black else there, Luchino Cat? Okay? <laughs> it's a long goddamn. I'm just gonna say Tycoon Tax, Western of Toronto, all day, ROSMG, oh, Pack, C through everybody that Craig yeah. said, plus. Shout somebody up. Shout somebody up. Kane, Lex Luther. <laughs> Lex Luther oh, gets a likes. shout out. Shout out to Bishop Organic, everybody. Mm. All right. I that's beat your list, man. Lots of radio. We'll be back right after this. Okay. All right, all right. Luciano Crack, of course, Tycoon Tax in the building. King of the Dot. Yes, cool, yes. man. You guys gotta pay attention to that stuff. Of course, you know, people say that you, should, you guys shouldn't be friends. You know, you guys are friends. Yeah. Definitely. But, I mean, you guys are battle rappers. Only your mm-hmm. camera I mean, you know, would you guys ever battle each other? Nah. Nah, probably not. Maybe for a lot of money. What if, what if you have the title and Tycoon had to take it away from you? Tycoon, are you battling if he had the title? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I don't see him happy with the title. I just be like, where's his title? Come on, son. Right, you know that's not it. true. What? Come on. <laughs> you know that's not I true. I could just ride the coattail. That's so <laughs> not true. <laughs> ride the coattail. <laughs> ride the coattail, man. I do not care. If he's big, like, pause. But if... <laughs> 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 wow. At least I didn't finish the sentence. I paused it. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Crazy. Right. Right. So, so you guys would never ever battle each other? Nah, nah, not really. How much preparation do you guys put into each battle? Well, not enough right now. We got a, we got a battle in... How long is the battle? Uh, December 5th. We got a battle in three and, and a half weeks and we okay. haven't even written one thing. Okay, so speaking of writing, do you strictly just write your stuff or do you go off the top? How, how does it work? Nine, it's just like 95% written. Okay. I only, I only free stuff. I think there's something relevant to the time that... I should say, but no, nah, I write most of my shit. I do not. You do not. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you almost <laughs> got me there. I thought you were gonna say you don't write. <laughs> I mean, you don't write, but still, you don't freeze though. Yeah, well, I don't. In the writing process, I don't have a pen and a pad. I write in my head, so oh, okay. I just memorize everything. But definitely cannot freeze that. Okay, so do you guys feel that? For you guys, you you write, but what about yeah. those who say, you know what, battle rapping should be a freestyle thing? What do no. you say to that? It, it would just be boring. Well, you yeah, How many times do dudes freestyle it's actually good? You know what I mean? It's very hard. There's like three people in the world that can really freestyle. Yeah, you can the count the best freestylers in the world. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Just because you can freestyle drunk at a party doesn't mean that like, we want a million people watching <laughs> yeah. you on YouTube on some like... Like, let's say, let's say him and I have the battle, all right? Right. And then they go, all right, yo, we're just going to film it right now. All right, freestyle. It's going to suck. It's going to be like, whatever, there's a cat in a hat. Okay, and I'll yeah. back. Yeah. Like, uh, it's, it'll be stupid. And then say, hey, we're going to give you two months to write, to research each other and write about each other and probably the most entertaining show you can rehearse. Yeah, exactly. That's way crazier. Okay. So, I mean, in terms of it, three weeks coming up, when do you start writing? A week before? Yeah, probably a week and then two weeks yeah. just to rehearse and get everything down packed. Okay. Yeah. You might exactly cut it into right. two weeks and one week of rehearsing. If you yeah. Know, if you can't think of anything. It's really hard for me to think of stuff sometimes. Mm. Okay. Or a lot of times I'll have my first verse written in like a day. Right. And then yeah. the second verse will take like a week. Right. And the third verse will take a day. So I got that first verse down so pat, I don't even know my third verse. Like. <laughs> now, I mean, what do you guys do? I mean, you guys, I'm pretty sure you've got to a point where when you guys are freestyle battling, or not freestyle, but when you guys are battling, uh, you forget your lines. Yeah. How do, you, how do you overcome that? That doesn't happen to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. You they happened to me twice. Once they cut it off on It happened to me my debut battle against Skelly. 
Okay. I'll choke through third round. That's because I had a week and a half to write. Just because right. I was really desperate to get King of the Dot and Organic called me on some shit like, you want to get on, this is your shot, you have a week and a half to write. I'm right. like, okay, I wrote some shit. In the third round, I choked. But I was winning the battle, though, and shout out nah, to the scale. So I finished that third for you. <laughs> and then, once again, against Sparks. Right. In the OT round. So I'm saying, battle rap was crazy. You used to have to write three rounds plus an OT round. OT is crazy. OT Thank was God crazy. They took away OT. You, what would happen if they, they had to put that back? Jeez. A lot of dudes would lose. A lot of dudes. Yeah, yeah. everyone would forget their shit again. Yeah. Well, for, which out for you people think they give you wins. What do you say to that? They just you know, think, you, know, you go in and you get a win. Nah, you know what the thing is? Is the problem is a lot of people that watch on YouTube aren't um they aren't listening to it in the same light that the judges listen to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? They judge it off different shit than the judges just judge it off of. Right. So they'll see and be like, oh, this is a lot, this is a lot, this is a lot. Meanwhile, these judges are like real hip hop heads. Like DJ Andre, you judge, right? Right. You judge, judge a lot for like the real hip hop heads that know hip hop and like no bars and schemes and every part of rap. Like they listen to everything, right? right. Whereas a casual fan may not be hearing all the shit that judge has been trained to listen to. Okay. So I say, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Crack, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you impress the judges? Like, when we get out there and start from we're playing, how do you, you guys... buy the drinks before the battle. Drinks before the battle. battle. You say, hey, what's up? Are you a judge? Come over here. Let's have a yeah. shot. Let's be friends. Tycoon come tax and battle the next. Remember me. And then the third round after you're done, you look at them all and you go wink and then they go in the back and they go, <laughs> tax. And you're like, yes, my first win against mischief. Nah, I'm fucking <laughs> Imagine yeah. it's like that? Nah, I'm not <laughs> Sometimes you I just gotta really, You gotta really say stuff that is gonna stick with the judges and stuff that's gonna, re- you're, you're gonna get remembered more, you know what I mean? I've had my friends judge battles that I thought I won and they said I lost. Okay. And that shit was just awkward as fuck to so be like, I wouldn't know chill now, but like, fuck you. I don't really I, I should judge in general, though. Why not? Because I feel oh, like yeah. YouTube's gonna say whatever it's they want. It's always two anyways. different things. Judges are, you know what I mean? Like, unless the judges are gonna sit down, watch the battle live, and then go back, watch the battle all back on camera. Right. That really doesn't make sense to me because people are always gonna have opinions on that. Yeah, like, let's say oh, Cortez versus Tycoon Tax, okay? Okay. What is that? Well, my Tycoon is Tax won. That's it. He won. In the building, live, three rounds. Killed him, destroyed him, right? Crazy. They, they judges oh wait, they didn't even judge it. No, it was not a judge battle. Oh wow, the general still consensus hate it. now is that when it comes on camera, it looks right. like a debatable battle. Was, right, but live it was just a fight. I was judges gonna, were there. I was going to talk about how sometimes if you beat somebody that's mad popular, you don't yeah. gain popularity because their fans just end up hating you. Yeah, and then you never. So how do you expand from that? So then, how do you battle that? Like when people have a lot, of, when you're going to go battle someone who has a lot of fans, I mean, how do you manage to win them over? You know, it's hard. It's hard. I battled Arcane. You got to do yeah. it at least two to three times. That same person? No, or just, just like different not. people that are big yeah. fans out there. At least right. for, to get respected in the general. Because yeah. no matter what, they're always going to have more fans than you that are right. never going to think they lost anything. Right. So mm-hmm. that's what you're working against. You're it's like when I battled somebody like Kainé's. Kainé's and I is a very close battle. Mm-hmm. But Kainé's and I, I got the judge decision just because I was a lot more popular. I know a lot more people. You know what I mean? Right. I have a lot more fans. They and it, it sways people, like your whole aura kind of sways people. If you go in and they know you're mad popular, you know how this, they think a lot better of you than someone who nobody vouches for, right? Okay, and that's why I'm with Kainese, because Kainese and I was mad close, very debatable battle, and okay. I won it okay. based off Kainese not being anyone in life. I guess little competitions are cool every now and then. Yeah, but fuck you, Kainese, that's the one. Oh, <laughs> 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 right, all right, now, which uh, you made what it all the <laughs> Which I made it all with the semifinals of the Grand Prix. I mean, some mm-hmm. people said, you know, you even getting that far was a yeah. stretch. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say to them? You got stopped by, you know, Stephies. What do you say to them? Uh, I mean, I think out of all the battles, if I should have won one, it should have been the Step Easy battle. Is that why he, do you think so? He choked two rounds out of three. Oh. Remember back in like back in like Fight Club days, like back in when Battle Rap first started, right. when you choked, you choked round was done, done, you lost. Right. That was it. Don't rap anymore. That's Once you choke, you don't want to hear you If you choke and you end up. You gotta look at your phone and yeah. Well, okay. Read off his yeah, phone, right? To remember that, it that first. was kind of bad. You know? Seriously, that's allowed. Yeah. No, but they allowed yeah. that's yeah. like, oh my. There is no rules in battle rap, but that's just like very. That's just one of the that rules. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think uh, I don't even know what that step is. see stuff about. like that doesn't translate on camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's okay. why. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, a, a lot of politics. <laughs> there is a lot of politics, <laughs> man. Now, in terms of the music that you guys have um, going, I mean, you guys feel, first off, you know, they say battle rappers can't make music. What do you uh, say to that? I mean, a lot of battle rappers can't. Go listen to Bass Cadet. 
<laughs> See the newest video out there right now with Jason Pack, Drake Mars, Tycoon Titan, which yeah. is incredible. We're not, we're not true battle rappers though. I mean, not to take anything away from battle rapping. I love battle rap. But I'm not a pure battle rapper like somebody who is huge and makes literally zero music. Okay. There's a lot of those, right? Like they actually have no interest in, in rapping music. outside of it, right? right. Like they, all they've ever done is battling. Like I did music and shit when I was in high school. Okay. And I took it all off because like the quality was horrible. Yeah. But like I've been, you know what I mean? Like, I really, I've yeah, been music, music is the main goal. Battle. At the end of the day, music yeah. is really the main goal, you know what I mean? Okay. And the battle rap's a platform. I don't prefer music over battling. The okay. thing is, it's just battle rap is easier to get. Battle rap is paying thousands, man. The highest paid is getting thousands. Rappers are getting hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely the main yeah. goal. You know what I mean? Okay. That's how you can make a hundred thousand off the battle, maybe. I feel like battling <laughs> is like the like one of the, it is one of the elements, isn't it? It is an element. You know, it's like yeah. doing graffiti. How big do you want to get doing graffiti or which one yeah. of the actual art and right. still but, you know what I mean? But I feel like like one of the like you start battling like think of all the battle rappers that are huge, like Eminem, you know what I mean? Like yeah. battling is like where you learn like real structure and hip hop and rapping and shit. Right. And then you translate into music and you can be very lyrical. Okay. Where a lot of these other rappers right. that can't really structure their verses and don't have like intricate rhymes they just, no if they tried to battle they would just get in every level yeah but again. they just know music they yeah. just listen to a beat and then and that's why I but still you still gotta be lyrical i mean you don't have to be lyrical but if you would like to be lyrical battle rap you have the talent to make a good song like the talent to make a good song whether it's lyrical or not yeah, yeah. People no but i'm saying in order to be lyrical you gotta be a good battle yeah oh yeah yeah you know what i mean you put any of these guys like lupe like anybody that's lyrical kanye they would be crazy about because they're lyrical well, that's yet to be seen. I mean, we gotta yeah. put them in there and see that, right? That, yeah. Now, look, yeah, you got a battle coming on November twenty second. Who are you facing? Where is this battle taking place? Oh shit! No, no, that battle happened. It's coming out. It's coming out. Yeah, it's okay, coming it's out coming on, on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Out. Yeah. And it's who is that? Something. Who is that facing? Who are you facing at that point? It's um, it's Black Hearted Donis from Connecticut. It was um. Crack Hearted Connors. Yeah, we call him Crack Hearted Connors. He sounds like all the sons. Like crack, <laughs> okay. heartless, conceited. Yeah. yeah, that's just coming out of November. And how do you how do you how do you rate your performance in that? That shit was great. I don't know. I, was that Zach? He's seen it. Yeah, no, nah, dude, bro, crack it. No bias. No bias. <laughs> and that's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. What's in the, the thing? building, right. I'm hearing uh -huh. Black Heart One in the building. Yeah, in the building. Now yeah. that I've seen it on camera, it right. is clear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he start he choked and started spinning like yeah, shit from the track. Like, like there's a lot of shit you can do live that you can't do on camera. It just yeah. won't work. Like. If you forget your verse right. and start spitting a mixtape verse right. in the battle, right. live no one notices it, right? It'll just be like, yeah, right. until right. after the fact. Right. 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 On right. camera, right. you're going to see right yeah. through it. So. Yeah, on camera, you know when somebody has stopped rapping, you just see it in their eyes like right. this, dude, just fucked up. And he goes into some generic, you go, oh, okay, yeah, you fucked up for real. <laughs> he's not going to get away with none of that shit on camera. Because he's sure. from Connecticut, right? It's like battling me in my backyard. Like, I'm gonna, okay, okay. you just stopped on like that for sure. Yeah. Definitely, it's like, who, what, what about you, man? The value you got coming well, up. Well, we got the two on two December 5th in Ottawa. That's oh, okay. that gonna be crazy, right? Right? Um, I don't know if I can announce the opponents right now. Yeah, you can, it's on a day, put the flyer up. All right, so yeah, we're battling Young Casper and KP. Okay, nah, I'm just playing. Fuck, bro. Yeah, <laughs> 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 all right, in Ottawa, December 5th. And then uh, I'm definitely going to be on the Blackout 4 card yet, whatever the hell it is. I don't not know. Nobody's contacted me as of yet, but... What are you, what are you trying, trying to push for to get on? contacts you. Pardon? How are you trying to push to get on? Um, just my work just speaks for itself. Like, I just think, like, I just faced off against Cortez and beat him, you know what I mean? Like, that's a, he just beat disaster. Okay. So uh, for me to come out of yeah. nowhere and just beat Cortez, and I think that speaks for itself. Right. And I've been really good to the league as far as loyalty goes. And, yeah. And, and, and being there when they need me and stuff like that, so I'm, yeah, Blackout Four. Though, I heard it's gonna be ridiculous. I heard we got some big in stores happening. It's gonna be Blackout Four might be the best battle rap event like ever. Yeah, I, World Dom. Sure. If you thought World Dom was crazy, yeah. Blackout, Blackout Four, Blackout 4 might be the best ever. Four is gonna be crazy. So that's gonna be the one to look forward to. Yeah, they're doing like innovative. They're shit trying to. They're trying to like set set it off. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So they're gonna try to set up twenty fourteen and stuff. Um, there's, yeah, there's like a new element they're adding, which is just too crazy. Okay. Which I can't believe people haven't done yet. They wanted to make money. Well, definitely, we're gonna see it when it comes out for sure. Any last shout outs you guys got going? Uh, you go first. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, got, I, got like, I got like 50 shout outs. So I you had you wrote know, two separate shout outs for the beginning part and the second part? Yeah. A lot of people email me. Right, um, I have friends though. I'm going to just say the monarchy. All right. I'm going to 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 say the
Nu l-au cazat. Și a lăsat Pablo. Și a lăsat Pablita. E. Are coherent. E așteptat. Are. 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 Na, na, shout out uh, uh, Lex, Orwas, MG, C, Dope Packs, Bars. Mm-hmm. Nah, you didn't shout out Bars, dog. Oh, You're dissing, eh? The Bars, man, it's dissing. Don't listen to them. Yeah, shout out to S, Conceived Heartless, fucking Fox, Pops, um, everybody, yo. Alright, that's What's in Toronto, huh? Yeah, Crack exactly, Beach. Man. I do want to say thank you guys very much for coming through. Appreciate it, man. Yo, shout out to you guys and DJ Andre now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the people that did this. DJ, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, man. See, DJ Andre just standing there like you guys don't even know me. That's all we best know. friends. They put this microphone and camera on us and they're like, nah, yo, shut up. Yeah. It is what it is, man. Tycoon Tax and Chiam Crap. You know what it is. Roll to radio, man. DJ Andre Crap, take us away. We'll be back right after this. It's Roll to. Yo, it's Tycoon Tax. You already know all of us on your day. You have Roll to radio. Tune into that every Tuesday, 8 to 10, 4 to radio.ca. You already know who's on track, RSRMG. Red.